Earlier this year, Amir Abul Hassani received this letter from U.S. Customs informing him he's not allowed in that country. The Canadian citizen had already sold his house in Saskatoon after his U.S.-based employer asked him to relocate to North Carolina. He was stopped at the Calgary airport. Due to this section, which is cooperation with terrorist organization. The reason is that more than a decade ago, Abul Hassani was conscripted into the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps in Iran. He says he had no choice. The group was later tagged as a terrorist organization in 2019 by the Trump administration. We are enhancing our ministerial directive on financial transactions associated with the Republic of Iran. We will restrict financial transactions with Iran associated with the IRGC. Canada has banned senior IRGC officials, and Abhul Hassani wants the government to clear his and other conscripts' names. This has become a huge concern that are we really Canadians at this point or not? I spoke with some 25 Iranian Canadians who all say they are subjected to extra screening, even when they enter Canada. But the real problem for them is being unable to travel to other countries, particularly the United States. Abul Hassani's employer is allowing him to work virtually for now, but he worries he'll lose his job, much like Alberta resident Mojitaba Siapush. He can't travel to the United States, so his employer is letting him go at the end of the year. I'm the only one need to cover Western Canada and Western U.S. as well. So if I cannot cover Western U.S., they need either hire another one or let me go and find a new one. In British Columbia, this 13-year-old Canadian champion in robotics was forbidden from entering the U.S. for a world championship just because his father had been conscripted in Iran more than 30 years ago. I could see in his eyes that the, the world was destroyed for him. And he was thinking to raise the Canadian flag there under, uh, you know, uh, his school's name and uh, show that how uh, proud Canadian can be with the young people like him. Back in Saskatoon, Abul Hassani is corresponding with hundreds of families in tough situations like his. Global Affairs Canada declined to comment and the Canada Border Services Agency says it does not possess any authority to intervene in immigration decisions made by other countries. But Iranian Canadians say it is very much a Canadian problem. Practice. They all. CBC News, Saskatoon.